Welcome to this training video on the Outlook web app. We will cover how to edit your contacts in Outlook. The Outlook web app is a website, so it is available on any PC, anywhere in the world that has internet access. There is no need to install any software for you to get your long and foster email. You will now watch demonstrations of how to edit your contacts in the Outlook web app. Open your web browser and enter mail.longandfoster.com in the address field. You will then get the Outlook web app login window. Use this password window in the same manner that you access many other Long and Foster programs from outside of your office. In the domain slash username field, enter lnfnet backslash and then your five digit Long and Foster agent number. In the next field, enter your password. This is the same password you enter to access the network in your office. Once you have entered your password, click on the sign in button. You will then be on the Outlook main page. Let's start by clicking on the contacts button in the lower left hand corner. All of your contacts will be displayed on a list in the middle of the page. You can use the scroll bar to scroll down the list to view all of the contacts. To create a new contact, click on the new button. This will open a new contact window. You can now fill out the fields for your new contact, such as the first name, last name, profile information, multiple phone numbers, email addresses, and mailing addresses. Scroll through the new contact page to fill in the desired fields. You can also use the links at the top of the page to jump to the various sections of the contact page. Once you are finished, click on the Save and Close button. This will save your new contact and file it with the rest of your contacts. There is another way to create a new contact, if you have received an email from a person you want to put in your contacts list. Click on the Mail button to go back to the email page. Once you are on the Mail screen, Find the email from the person you want to put into your contacts and highlight it to open it in the reading pane. Put your cursor over their name in the reading pane, and then right click your mouse. A menu will open, scroll down to the add to contacts option and click on it. The new contact entry screen will open. The person's name and email address will be automatically filled in since they were pulled from the email we selected. You can add any additional information about that person you want to using the contact fields. Once you are finished, click on the Save and Close button. We will now discuss how to create an email distribution list. A distribution list, or group, allows you to send a single email to all of the people listed under a group name, such as buyers or sellers, without having to enter each individual's email address into the email. To create a group, Click on the arrow next to the new button in the contacts window. Then, select the group option. A group window will open. First, enter the name you want to use for this group. We will enter buyers for this example. In the members field, you can type the first and last name of the contact, or a full email address, to search for the contacts you wish to add to this group. After entering the name, Click on the Add to Group button to add the contact to the group. The contact will now be shown in the list of group members, below the search field. You can repeat the process to add additional members to the group. Another way to add members to the group is to click on the Members button to the left of the Members field. This will bring up the Global Address Book. In this window you can scroll down the list of contacts to select one or use the search bar to enter the first and last name of the contact to find them. Once the contact has been found, click on the contact to highlight it. Then, click on the Members button to add the contact to the list. Once you are done adding members to the list, click the OK button to return to the group window. Once you are back to the group window, the contacts you selected in the address book will be in the Members field. Click on the Add to Group button to add them to the group. Click on the Save and Close button to add the group to your contacts list. To send an email using your distribution lists, 
click on your global address book on the new email window by using the to button or the address book icon. Select contacts from the address book. Then, scroll or search for the group name you wish to send this email to. Once the group has been found, click on it to highlight it. Then click on the to, cc, or bcc buttons, as desired, to add the group to the email. For our example, we will use the to option. Click on the OK button to return to the email. You can now complete the standard process of sending the email. All the members of the selected group will receive the message. This concludes this presentation on how to edit your contacts in the Outlook web app. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Long and Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.